Will Brinson has been listening in with us. He's on the phone. Will, what's your reaction? Wow. I mean, I, I you should have no, seen I mean, us. Bob Kraft's, Bob Kraft's press conference was, it was a human fire emoji. That was, that was, I mean, you don't see stuff like that from a guy who has traditionally been one of the most league-friendly NFL owners. That I mean, he, Bob Kraft, Bob, in May, and he pointed this out, in May he, he said, I'm going to do what's best for the league. He stood down. He decided he wasn't going to sue the NFL over, over the Patriots' punishment, which, which he certainly could have done. He accepted the punishment, the million-dollar fine, which is not a whole lot of money relative to, to his personal wealth, but, you know, another first-round pick. And he, he basically admitted, you know, he, he said, we'll take any culpability. And he, he did make the point. He believed he was going to get a quid pro quo when it came to Tom Brady's punishment, and he didn't get it, and he, he is, he's very upset right now. You don't see – Bob Kraft like this, you don't see a press conference like that. Bill Belichick was as expected. Um, it, it's clear that, that, that this is not a situation that is, is going to go away. And, and Bob Kraft is, is, is very, you know, he, he, is, he has always gotten Tom Brady's back. And, and to me, the fact that Tom Brady's owner would come out and say this makes it very clear that, that Tom Brady expects – and, and will expect to continue to fight this a, as far as it can possibly go, and, and will have the support of his team and his owner. It, it, it's a, a startling press conference, frankly. And, and will you know you pointed this out before the press conference started, uh, and Bob Kraft saying this that the NFL has no tangible or hard evidence at all when it comes to whether or not those balls were deflated. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there really isn't any evidence. I mean, I mean, again, you go back to the whole issue of preponderance of evidence. The NFL can make this ruling because of the way that, you know, I mean, we're not operating. When the NFL makes a punishment and then, and then rules on an appeal, we're not operating on, you know, a, a court level here. We're operating within the, the boundaries and the rules of the NFL. And they, they can issue that punishment. I mean, you know, I mean it's, what they did, while it doesn't, you know, I mean, it, it, is, it is well within their right, even if it doesn't look fair. Um, and, and that's why you're going to see this, you know, move outside of the boundaries of NFL discipline and into the legal system. Right. And it's, it's, it's a fight that, that will probably go on for a while. And, and Will, he even went on to say, Robert Kraft went on to say, that Roger Goodell, when he released his statement yesterday, it was designed to capture and make headlines. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he's look, he's spot on. You know, if you, if you think about it, this is what I was saying before, the, before his press conference. I mean, the narrative completely flipped. We were at a point where it had been, you know, six months since the ASC championship game. Everyone who was following this story was sick of the story and expected and was wondering, where is this ruling? Where, you know, what is the NFL doing? Why are they, you know, why are they dragging their heels on this? What is taking so long? And then all of a sudden, 24 hours later, it flipped, and everybody's like, oh, Tom Brady is such a criminal. He destroyed his phone. The NFL did a great job of framing it. I mean, you know, that's the bottom line. And, and clearly, it didn't, it didn't sit well with the Patriots or Bob Kraft. So, well, before we let you go, I know you got to write your story. Uh, so, in your opinion, should Tom Brady take the sack or no? Just spend, you know, take the sack, spend four days at home with Giselle, or does she fight this? Oh, uh, well, I mean, it, it, I would fight it. I mean, you know, this is, you're talking about a, a, a even, even if this four-game suspension is held up, you're talking about a, a top-five all-time quarterback, a, a surefire Hall of Famer, and his reputation is, is, is being destroyed. Of course, you have to fight it. And if you believe you did nothing wrong, you, you – I mean, and look, four, four weeks at home with Giselle is not the worst thing in the entire world, you know, <laughs> even if you've got kids running around. Uh, but – I, th I think if you're Tom Brady, you have to fight it. And I think if he, Tom Brady made the point this morning, he doesn't want the precedent to be there for this sort of punishment to just be meted out to anyone. And so uh, I would expect him to fight it the whole way. All right. Senior NFL writer Will Brunson, we know you need to go write your story. Thanks so much. Anytime, guys. Take care.